Lessons. Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at another bottle of beer from Dol in Denmark. Excuse my pronunciation, but it is called Sort Milk. It is a 13.1% ABV Imperial Milk Stout aged in whiskey barrels. Um, and just to give you a better pronunciation of the of the name, I've got my good friends, Jakob and Peter, to tell you how to pronounce it. There you go. And watch Peter and Jakob's video because they give you a really good background of what the uh, the, the name is all about. And it's, it's all about some um, German, it's a translation, uh, Danish translation of a German uh, kind of World War II kind of era poem. This beer was actually brewed up at Brewdog as well. I mean, if in, if you're in um, in Europe and you want to go and you're one of the best brewers in the, in Europe and you want to brew a beer and age it in a whiskey barrel, what better place to go than the complete the arse end of Scotland? Because <laughs> that's where they'll have all the best stuff. But if you saw my, I don't know when this I'll upload this video, but if you see uh, my uh, Golden Pint Awards for 2012, I mentioned that um, total. My, I'd say the best Euro, uh, overseas brewery, anything outside of the UK, for 2012. All the beers have been fantastic, I mean, varying degrees, some not, be not, not as good as others, but a majority of them I've been a really big fan of, and for me it's been a really big discovery in 2012. The beer in the glass, at 13.1%. It's a pretty good head considering how strong this beer is. Maybe the, the addition of the, kind of the, um, the oats and the lactose and things like that, which have made. And that's another thing you should go and Peter and Jacob's video. They've got, they can read all the Danish, <laughs> so they can tell you all the, the ingredients and all this. There's various little bits and bats, and they can translate the whole label for you. But yeah, it's got a real nice dark brown head. The beer in the glass. I'd say, I, I'm going to say a really dark brown. It's not quite black. It, it does got kind of like a brownie tint to it. But, but I've got it in my Michelin glass. I don't have any taller um, glassware. I'll get some one day because I'm a massive fan. So what better than to have one of their kind of mentors <laughs> and one of their employers as well <laughs> on the glass. So let's check out the aroma. Oh, lovely. That's not, that's, that's good. I mean, I'm not a massive whiskey fan. It hasn't got a load of whiskey aroma on it. it it's got a, it, it has got a very much presence of alcohol. Maybe a slight kind of peat note. But there's a nice chocolate note in there. There's a loads of dark fruits, maybe a slight kind of rum. Well, it's whiskey, obviously, obviously isn't it? So. There's not a load on the nose. Dark malts and, and whiskey. Yeah, not much going on. I'm sure it might open up when it warms up. I've got this at pretty much cell temperature. My, uh, my basement room st stays at a steady kind of like um, 13 to 18 degrees throughout the entire year. Probably at the lower end of that at the moment. Maybe a hint of coconut there. Licorice. The gravy granules. I'm sorry, I'm just holding it like that to warm it up a little bit. It's a nice smelling beer, and I said it, the, the, the um, whiskey's playing a nice part in that, it's not dominating. So, anyway, I can't wait to try this. 13.1. I may regret <laughs> opening this on a Wednesday night. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Straight away, big. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, it's got such a big full body. It is milky, I guess. On the first touch, as it touches your lips, you go, "Oh, it's that first impression is incredible." Mm. Yeah, it's like really thick cream. Actually, it's like you just took a pot of double cream and oof. Fills you and just covers your palate. Mm. 
initial flavours, dark, heavy burnt malt, a hint of that booziness of the whiskey. There is a slight whiskey note. I don't know what kind of whiskey barrels they use for this. I don't think I, I, don't think I can find that out on the, on the um, website. Every time it touches my lips, I get this impression of condensed, uh, condensed milk, so that real beef sugary quality. Alarmingly drinkable at 13.1. Yeah, licorice, um, currants, raisins, fresh um, kind of tabories, more of a sour raspberry. Currants. Is a, oh, yeah, that lovely condensed cream quality, condensed milk quality, tinned like tinned, kind of. Top, um, I can't remember what they call it nowadays. But that's a beautiful first introduction, and it keeps going back, and it's really drinkable and Moorish, and I wanted to go back for more and more and more of this beer. Mm. Licorice, slightly, slight kind of heavy oaky. Vinous now, like a really big red wine. I'm not a big wine drinker, so I'd love to give you kind of a spe more specifics on that, but it's just that earthy, earthy oakiness. Dries out, becomes quite sticky. Uh, excuse me. Dark malts. Finest note once again. Maybe coffee, maybe more camp coffee, plus like a like a espresso or anything like that. Molasses hanging around, slight smoky you note know, right at the right at the end. But it's that first sugary sweet note from the lactose, I would imagine. That makes you keep coming back for more. Got a little bit of warmth there, which is good because it's fucking freezing at the moment around here. Oh, but oh, just, I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, I'm looking at myself in the little screen, and I've kind of slumped. You know, cause it's, it's that kind of experience, like oh yes, oh, <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful beer. I was a little bit scared about this. It's a big old beer. And it's a whiskey, it's whiskey. But I love Tool. The Goliath is an incredible Imperial style. It's coffee version. But this is beautiful. Once again, as with Mikola, I'd say um, the real kind of pinnacles of their brewing have come from the dark beers. This is fantastic and not uh, much better than I expected. Um, Goliath was incredible. But as I said, I will completely uh, admit my affection for everything Tool do. Snowball says on incredible for, uh, first first and final frontier amazing beers raid beer wow so much great beer from this brewery but like Mikola the um, the big dark beers uh, the brunch weasel and stuff from Mikola really are the pinnacle of his brewing and this is absolutely incredible I feel spoiled that I've had the opportunity to buy this beer if there's some more available I'm gonna be pretty damn tempted to buy some more because that is seriously good stuff I'm excited, you can, you can tell that obviously. It's a fucking awesome beer. Buy it you bunch of mugs, all right. <laughs> so I saw milk from <laughs> from Thorn in, um, in Denmark. I'm losing power of speech now. It's not because it's 13.1%, it's because I'm so bloody excited about how good this bottle of beer is. It is a whiskey barrel aged. Imperial milk stout done to absolute perfection. It's a little bit of a risk. It's a little bit something different, but it's really, really good. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsing.com. See you next time. Cheers.